G'day everyone, Prep Aussie here. I hope you're all well in whatever part of the world you're watching this video. Okay, this is an image that was sent to me from Tom uh, in the US. Now, I believe that this picture has been doing the rounds for, um, perhaps, but look, what I wanted to actually draw to your attention is, you know, obviously the three objects in the front. I'm going to analyze this picture because I think it's really important that everyone understands exactly what's going on here. And by that, I mean, you know, you need to open your, you need to look into things a little bit more. Okay. The, the first off obvious thing is these three images here on the front. And then I'll draw your attention to these Im this image here. Folks, this here, um, in a non-forensic examination, looks to me like fingerprints. Does it not? Um, and, you know, look, it's, it's not, you don't have to be Einstein to work that out, I don't think. Um, somebody's left their fingerprint marks on this. At the first sight, this... You've got to ask yourself, I, I said to Tom, I rang him about this this image and I said, mate, if he'd sent this to me two years ago, I would have fell over backwards and literally put it on the screen and to talk about it in literally two seconds flat. Well, see, I don't do that anymore. And the reason I don't do that anymore is because, um, as I've said for a long time now, I'm a little bit more dubious and when I see something like this straight in front of your face, I instantly now think, well, what are they trying to hide? Because, you know, you, you don't just get one particular image from, uh, this is on Stereo Head Core 2. You don't just get one particular image. If you go through the frames on, on Stereo Head, well, this is only one frame that comes up with these images in it. And then you've got to ask yourself, well, why? Why is there only one frame showing this? And as you can see, it's blurred and everything else. Now, look, I'm not saying that this is not real. It may very well be real. But why is there three stroke four images on one picture? That's, it's a little bit hard to to fathom really you know if this thing's moving at you know max 7000 then yeah probably there's a reason why it was but you know the aperture or the shutter aperture on the on the camera would have to be extreme you know to to take it like that and you know when you look around the other the other parts of the thing nothing else is blurred so why is this like this and why are these fingerprints on this screen? They're clearly fingerprints. You can see them. So these these here and this here tells me that there's more depth to this than to this picture, and there's something there that they don't want all of us to see. The date's on the bottom there, by the way. It's on uh, the tenth of the fifth, twenty seventeen. If you want to go and look for it. Now, remember what I said, it may be real, but it kind of leads me down the track now to think that it's not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the test that I've done on this picture. And then I want you to all f make up your own minds about what you think. Okay, so here we go. Just to save time, and as you guys know, I usually like to take pictures and do a test in front of you. But just to save time, I've already done them. So look, this is um, this is inverted. Now automatically, you can see that these show up as hot. And obviously this pitch, this star here, whatever, whatever that is. And that's another thing that drew my attention to this, this picture automatically 
was not so much these, but this star, which is just sitting out in the middle of nowhere. Um, what is it? Is it? It, it seems very. For, this is facing. The camera is sitting on the elliptical plane of of Earth, and it's taking a picture dead center of the sun. So you've got to ask, what is this star down here? It's very big. It's bloody massive for a star, and it's very bright. And if you look at the original picture, there was nothing else as bright as it in the area. So what is that? But this is what I'm going to draw your attention to, and this is what I'd like you all to do from now on when you see pictures like this. See these here? Right, forget those. Draw your attention to the sun and look here to the left and then to the right and at one o'clock. And this particular image here, look, you see this here? Folks, in actual fact, this picture was never about these things here. It was actually about these things that are on the left, the right, the top, and over here, and this here. See another one there? What they're actually trying to do is get your attention away from the screen, from the sun, and concentrate on these three images here, which makes me led, like I said, to believe that it's manipulated. This is value inverted. You know, you can clearly see the images there. This one made me think that it was manipulated because look how long that, that shadow is on that. You can't see the, the, the planet that I just showed you because it's um, taken over by the, the, dark, uh, the, the rays of the sun. Now, look at the top. You can clearly see a massive great planet there. And then what is this here? And then once again, you can clearly see that there's something here. Now, this gets more interesting. This is inverted and then value inverted. Now, isn't that interesting? You can clearly see the planets here. You can clearly see the bloody great big planet there. And you can clearly see this, this dense matter here. There's some more there. You can actually see all these in here. Look, there's bloody loads of them, folks. These aren't supposed to be there, by the way. This one here, you can't really see because it's it's on the top and to the front of the sun, I'm guessing. Now, this is a gamma test. And as you can see, once again, these images here don't hold up too well. You can see the sun on the other side of them but this one doesn't hold up very well at all. But the images, sorry, around the sun hold up extremely well. Look at the size of this thing here at the top. Look at the size of that thing. To the right, can't really see these images here this time. A bit blurry. But then when you, you screen, you know, you, you go back down to normal pixelation, look at all these. This here is not normal, folks.
Now you can see them look. This is with adjusting brightness and contrast. Going back to the original image, um, look, these don't, they just don't hold up. That doesn't mean they're not real. They just haven't held up as well over the testing. Look, clearly see the images there, the planets, the objects, and in here. And as I said, look at the size of this thing. And you can clearly see there's another one that's with it. And in actual fact, I think there's several that are with it. And what do we get out of these images? Mm, nothing great. You know that this one worries me that it's got this line going <laughs> going the opposite direction. I don't understand that at all. Now we're going to go into the hue testing or color testing. Now you can see the images. Look at the size of this thing. You can also see the other planets with it. You can see these here. You can obviously see these. And you can see that here there's a cluster, an absolute cluster of them. This is blue, obviously. See the images there, look. Now you can see these ones here. They're there, all right, folks. But if you're looking looking at these, you're gonna miss these ones. Yellow. Clearly see them now. Stand out like anything now. Look at the size of this thing though. It is massive. Whatever that is, that's a huge planet. This is red. And as I said, these just completely disappear. You can't see anything at the back of these now, they're gone, which doesn't make sense. You can clearly see these now. Interesting to note that the actual thing at the top and that star is still there, but everything else at the back of it has disappeared. This is pretty revealing. Look. There's a whole clutch of these. This is like a huge cluster here. Absolute cluster of them. And that gives you a bit more depth on this side as well. And like I said, this thing here, you know, there's another one out there. But this thing here is bloody huge. And you can actually see now, see uh, the other planets that are with it. There's two distinct planets with it and a tail type of thing.
You know, obviously different shades are going to show up different things. But it's not manipulating the image so much. It's actually manipulating the color behind it because sometimes some things will show up in different colors. Look at that. What is that? Blue again with a slight different variation. You know, there is literally <laughs> countless objects there, folks. Countless objects here and countless objects here and here. And I, I still don't get this. Right, folks, that's, that's the end. This is going back to the original picture. So on the original picture, you can clearly see that there's objects here. More to the left than there is to the right, to be honest, and the top. But there is a clutch of objects here. In this vicinity, clutch of objects here, an obvious clutch of objects there. And, and now I look at this picture, now I realize why that's done that, is because it's actually going over these objects and uh, causing a disturbance, hence the black line there, because it's going over the objects. And like I said, you can clearly see that object there. What is it? I don't know. But it's shaped like that. Is it the Nibiru? Who knows? But I guess what I'm trying to say, folks, is um, the best thing to do is use a bit of discernment and look beyond what you're looking at. All right, everyone. God bless. Prep out.